and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. With Cinema 4D Release 20, all falloffs are replaced by fields. But what are fields exactly and how do they work? Fields basically are separate objects that define a weight in 3D space. Weights are basically values between 0 and 1, or 0% and 100%, and they can be used to mask an effect, for example like here in the plane effector. With this spherical field, all zeros are outside, and the ones are inside of the spherical field, so to speak. And then there's a falloff between 1 and 0 here in the middle area, which can be adjusted in the field settings, like here in the remapping, you can adjust the inner offset, and once you bring it to 100%, you see that they are just zeros and ones, and there is no blending in between. Let's undo this. So the cool thing about fields is that they are separate objects, as I mentioned before. So you can move them independently from the object they are affecting, but also the other way around. So you can place the field somewhere in 3D space and move the object, which is the cloner here in this case, and you see that all of the values adjust and the ones are always inside of the spherical field and the zeros are outside. Fields can be created by going to Create, Field, and here you've got a list of fields, or you can create them by using these three buttons here. Once you created some fields, you can mix them using the layer-based interface here, and I already created some fields, I have to activate them, and there you can already see the power of the fields, because now you have three objects here, and they are all defining the falloff for this plane effector. And as I told you before, you can move them separately. So where can we use fields? Actually everywhere where we have something to do with weights. In this scene, I've got a spherical field, and I want to control all of these things with it. So MoGraph, a deformer, a vertex map, a polygon selection, a point selection, and volumes. So let's move this. Right now, I'm controlling the strength of the MoGraph effector. Here I'm controlling the strength of the deformer. Here I'm controlling a vertex map, and it's all with the same field. Next, I'm controlling a polygon selection. Here I've got a bevel deformer that is controlled by a point selection. And here I've got a volume that is created inside of the field. So you see there is a lot of power in the fields because they are like a unified weighting system all over Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching! For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.